Welcome back. We're rolling in, man. We got a uh, spot parking in the grass. another one we got to go get another one in alpharetta uh i believe it's an abandoned uh we'll see what happens but uh it, it's never ending this cycle of cars it's a never ending cycle uh because people like this person that owns the kia they're gonna park in the wrong spot uh they're not gonna do uh do what they're supposed to do they're not gonna keep their cars current and uh they they get towed man that's just how it is and a lot of people don't like tow drivers. All the time I look online, I hear some negative stuff about some tow company. The tow driver. The bad tow drivers, they're all over the place. Can't just, can't just name all tow drivers bad. Because they're not. Some of, us, some of us out here are doing it. Doing this job 100% by the book. Anyway. Anyway, we just rolled back on this other property. Uh, this, they got an abandoned. Uh, I guess it's that van right there. <laughs> trailer we got to uh, pull out of this property
little bit trickier than usual because that car was in front of the trailer. I couldn't hook the front. It would have been a lot easier to pull it if that car wasn't there. Either way, we got it. And I had it on the bed. I knew it wasn't going to roll that far. Uh, it, did some, it did roll. And I knew, I, I, I suspected it was going to roll a little bit off. It didn't go far enough to keep me from loading it. Um, either way, we got it loaded. We're going to head on... Uh, Head on to the yard with it. That's what we do. We tow them. Pull up and get them. Anyway, stay tuned. We got much more coming. Anyway, we just pulled up to the lot we're dropping this one at. This trailer that goes to a different lot. I was pulling in, man. I noticed the guy down here at the uh, at the bus stop, man. He man, he looks rough, man. And I've got a lot of uh, had a lot of people on my uh, on my channel that wanted giveaways, and they uh, they asked me to give the money to somebody that uh, that needs it. So I'm what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out here and give this guy some money. And I know people don't like to see me give money away. I'm doing it doing it out in the open and all this stuff, man. But let me tell you this right here: people uh, that donate this money. Uh, for the call for people somebody that's homeless somebody need that needs it bad uh, They need some return on their money. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy some cash And uh, it make his day. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure he's gonna be happy about it Hey What's up, man? You okay? Yeah. Are you homeless? Kind of. Yeah. Here's you some cash, bro. Hey, man. Hey, listen. God bless you, man. He, he, he just did with a person like yourself. Say what? He just did with a person like yourself. Yeah. Uh, I just try to, uh, I just try to help people when I can. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, God loves you, bro. So do I. Hear me? Yeah. Yep. Good luck to you, man. Yeah. Have a good one. This was somebody's money on the channel that donated it uh, to somebody else that needed it worse. And so, I can't I can't take credit for giving this money to this guy. Uh, somebody else on this on the channel uh, donated their hundred dollar winnings. So, and there's quite a few that have done that. And I I give money out, man. I pass money out pretty regular. I don't put it on the channel that often. I I don't want to overflow the channel with with showing me giving away money because that's not what this channel is about this channel is about towing about yanking cars so i try to keep it try to keep it real uh but i also have to keep it real with the people that uh that ask me give it to somebody else that uh that, that that needs it more than i do anyway that being said we're gonna go ahead and drop this uh trailer man and get to the next call stay tuned there we go we're back on it again we're rolling up, man. We're going to get some cars. I uh, just spotted a couple that, that are marked to tow. tow guy you know i'm a little bit far on over on this side all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull it back toward me with the lever
We got somebody yelling, yo, yo, yo. What's going on, man? Hey, they towing, man. They towing. Property managers towing the cars. It's already loaded, man. Huh? It's loaded, bro. I mean, it's it's yeah, broke down. I, I understand, man. Hey, and I, I I just pull up and get the cars they tell me to get. Yo, man. I know. I, I just got my mechanical and I come and look out of there and take the car from here right now, yeah. man. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. That's why I'm on the phone with y'all right now. Yeah. He waited off. Uh, he basically got. What's the date today? Uh, I think he gave y'all ten days. Gave y'all like 10 days to move them. What? Uh, you had like 10 days. Uh, he stickered them on the 8th. I, I got um, um, the messages on the government, but I come out my mechanic coming right now. That's what yeah. I'm supposed to do right now. Yeah, I understand, but uh, the, hey, the manager gave you, uh, he gave you a certain amount of time, and he and he's towing. I mean, they, it's it's on the hook, man. It's getting towed because hey, it's been it's been uh, it, it was stickered on the 8th. Uh, it's, it's on there, man. It's stickered on the eight. There's no sticker on the, on the car. That's because. That's because on the car, I'm going to let it go. That's when I'm going to move the car. And I put them on the car. And I'm going to come and move it. Man. Why'd you stick on Anybody put a sticker on there and say I got to move it? Yeah, they put a sticker on it, man. Why is the sticker on there? Uh, somebody, somebody, somebody pulled the sticker off. The sticker got pulled off. They don't have to have a sticker on it, period, to tow it. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be harsh on you, man. I'm, I'm Listen, uh, you, you're gonna have to come get it from the lot, man, because it, it, uh, it don't run. The tags in 19, I mean 2020. That yeah, understand, my brother. Yeah, I understand, I, I man. I'm not trying to be harsh on you, man. You staying calm and everything, and I, I, I fully understand your situation, but I got to tow the car. I mean, I have to tow it, sure, man. man. I'm just now about to come and move the car right now. I bet you I would get the car right here. Well, the only way it can come off the back of my truck, man, is, is the drop fee, but but the car don't run. Hey, this manager's trying to clean the property up, man. Right, right. Just like the Durango. See the Durango, man? Same thing with it. Somebody else got yanked, man, because it's a 20 tag, I mean, 2020 tag. Um, and periodically they tow, man. You know what I'm saying? You get that sticker on there, man. You you got to communicate with the office. Right. Right. You can't, uh, right. Right. I mean, right. you can't wait till the tow guy shows up to get it. And that's what I'm telling you, man. It's too late, man, for me to do right. anything. So what's the drop it's a $100 drop fee, man. But you're going to have to talk to the office and let him know. Yeah. Well, listen, get, get, the, get this number, man. Uh, get the number where it's going to go or, or paid out one. It's up to you, man. What, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's up to you. Let me, let me go talk to the property manager or something like that, man. Because they know I've been, I've been a very um, loyal customer. Right. I understand, I understand. But he's going to have to pay the drop fee. If you don't want to pay the drop fee, that's up to you. I've I got to go. I'm, I'm fixing to roll out. right here he, he's not getting it man it's a hundred dollar drop fee if the property uh allows him to have it here i'd rather him talk to the office and make sure uh that that uh that he can keep it here uh before i take a drop fee on it and him not move the car anyway uh long story short man this guy he's man he's nice as he can be he's a nice guy man he and he's probably a good guy only problem is his car's got to get towed, um, and he he didn't uh, he didn't go overboard or disrespect me. If he would have uh, he would have started being uh, started acting uh, acting out, uh, he'd have seen the tail lights rolling down the street. I would have left him standing there. Hey there, uh, you talk to this gentleman here. I mean, yeah, he can pay. I mean, right? it's a drop. It's a drop fee, and if yeah. he wants to pay it. And he's been calm. He's been stayed calm the whole time. Yeah. Oh, uh, we'll see if he wants to pay it out. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.
it took a little bit longer um, than what I was hoping for dealing with that guy with the payout. Um, and I can't, I can't go into all the details about different properties and how they operate, but every property manager's got a different, uh, got a different approach to the towing. And uh, I can tell you right now, this property here, they're, uh, they're not that strict uh, for people that communicate with the office, and they don't want any, uh, they don't want any problems going on around here. Uh, they don't want any pissed off residents. So, and I know this manager, I've been towed for him. I've been towed for this manager for, uh, I don't know, five years, something like that. I've towed a lot of cars out of here. And uh, each, each property manager does, uh, does a little bit differently. And uh, keeping, the, uh, keeping the noise down and keeping it smooth, doing a payout, it, it helps. It helps keep these property managers happy when you keep the drama down. And I can't, I can't stress that enough. I can tell you that, but I can't, I can't tell you enough. Keeping the drama down on these properties, it gets us more cars. I promise you that. I've seen it happen. I've seen property managers get, you know, they get discouraged or get upset. Uh, a lot of drama kicks off. People start calling corporate. Man, they'll put the brakes on tow, and they won't tow. Any, they won't tow a car for six months. I've seen them do it. Anyway, I'm gonna strap this down and get on the highway.